Bait boats are becoming more and more popular in carp fishing these days and we're here this morning with Mr Bait Boat himself to have a look at the new Anglin Technics models. And Anglin Technics were the original UK bait boat company. Um, so, let's have a little look at them Keith, what we got mate? Well, uh, Anglin Techniques have been around for a long, long time. What really appeals to me, they're British made and that's what I think you know is really good about these boats. And uh, you've got two new mo models here, the Micro Cat been around for a long, long time. It's now been updated to Mark III, which is now digital. And then we've got this lovely little baby here that came out last year called the Technic Hat. Very, very good boat, very versatile. They're really excellent to use. Looks really smart, doesn't it? They are. Real cool shape, uh, actually, isn't it? So what sort of um, situations would you use this one in? Well, this one is really sort of your sort of standard boat. It's, you know, it's good price. Um, you can use it in all waters. You know, it's very easy to load up. It's got props on it. So a little bit of disadvantage, in my opinion, to the to the to the to the pump, but you know it's a really really good boat. And nice the, big the features, hopper there. Massive hopper, four kilos of bait. Nice thing is you can really load it, the door shut, so straight through there. Put your rig in, put your freebies in there, and away you go. Right, nice. So it's a, you know it's a real good boat. Two batteries, nice lights on there. And what I really like. It's all single control, so it's so easy to use. So you haven't got two? You haven't got two, you know, which is I think feel is a disadvantage with this. It's just so easy to use. You know, I like to hold my rod when I do it, so I can feel the leg coming down, and uh, you know, and that makes me makes it an easier job for me. Superb. Well, right, you said this one's digital, so what exactly does that mean? The Micro Cat Mark III now, the only area you've got is if you have a, a feature finder or echo sounder fitted. Right. So basically there's no areas at all. If you look at a handset where a lot of them are run on chips, there's, not, there's a very little chance you would pick up any other micro cat on a lake. So it could be 10,000 on there and it would be to your boat and that was it. Really? So again, there's no chance of interfering with anyone else. There's no battery pack in this no more. It just takes four AA batteries and the life of these batteries, this handset takes, is unbelievable. I mean, I've had these in two months I'm still using the original batteries. Really? Because the so old ones did go through. They them, just, didn't just they? go through left, right, and centre. So massive, massive advantage on there. So you just use Duracell batteries, but again, it's, it's all single control. And um, we got uh, a fast or slow. You can slow your boat down. So when I use a slow one, it's great for feature finding. So I'm conserving the battery as well. Excellent. So nice well, obviously it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, everything's becoming digital these days. So you know, Micro Cat is is gone a bit further in the, in in. The, and the future of bait boats. So, you know, it's really excellent tool. Superb. Right, should we have a little look at them in action? Yeah, okay, let's put one in. Right, in case you said this one's easier to load, go for it, mate. Okay, the door's shut, it's really easy. Put your rig through there, no problem. As opposed to before when before you had to, you open had to door, the door open, yeah, a bit awkward. So you can put it across there and then get the old pellets out. And you don't have to fill it right up and say, well, I do just mix up a little bit. You know, and you got your way you go, and you're ready to go. One thing I always wonder with bait boats is, you know, are you dropping your hook bait exactly where the pellet goes? How do you ensure that you are? Well, a lot, a lot of anglers just put their rods in the rod rest. That's the worst thing you can do. I'll take it out of there, and I'll make sure I fill it right down, and just make sure, I'll just slacken off just before I'm going to do it. Come in. Go straight down. Let's do it. do it. <laughs> right. Well, it looks a bit fiddly with rod in here on the end, and the control in the other. Yeah, it's easy to use. Right, okay. And she's off. So now, just fiddling the line out. So basically, if you don't, I don't let it free spool, so I've always got control of it. So then on my line is tight, and I've got, so that line is going dead straight with a boat. So you haven't got a big bow No, not a big bow. And then. when I drop the, drop the bait, I can feel that lead is in the right spot, so I know it's not in weed. You see, I'll stop the boat in there. I've got it tight line. I drop it a little bit, a little bit of slack, and I drop the bait, and I can feel that down. I feel that lead hit. Solid lump now, so I know it's in the right spot. Excellent. So it's, it's quite excellent. important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's know? quite I mean, important. We all go on about feeling lead down when you're casting, so yeah. it's obviously just as just as important when you're dropping it with a boat. And also, if you see the line is dead, is dead straight, so it's easy to sink your line. And, and the direct it, to it. And direct to it. Cool, you can see that bright light on the front there, can't you? Yeah, and you can cut that out and you can dull the other ones down as well. Like, so you've got oh, a front one, so at night time, or like today, like, you just, you've got perfect. So you can actually dim the lights on this one as well. Is that it's LEDs, really is it? LEDs, yeah. So bright, isn't they, these days? Yeah. But nice about this one, you say you can dim them. So it's a really, really nice boat. And you so notice it's, it's absolutely quiet. Oh, absolutely great thing, quiet. isn't it, with LEDs? They yeah. just don't use as much battery, do they? A little bit of manoeuvring there. Nice. I mean, that's a disadvantage with, you know, with um, props is, uh, you know, the reverse is not that good. 
um, and that's why pumps got an advantage. But the other part of it, going forward, it is really good. You know, it's very manoeuvrable. I say the power of it is so fast. It is quick, isn't it? And you can see why the shape of it makes it really good. Good to manoeuvre It's not affected as by well. the wind either. And I say what I really like about it, you just can't hear it. No, that's a good. And if you point, look at actually. other bait boats on the market, they're very, very noisy. And one thing angling techniques have done made their boats very silent. And we all so, know and that sound travels through water far. Yeah, and you know, fish in shallow waters, you want a bit of stealth. And that's what the idea is for them, is uh, to get fish quickly, to put in them areas that fish feel safe, drop the bait and get a run, not spook them out, you know. Don't abuse them either. Um, you know, as you see angers abuse, you put them in the snags, mm. you know, it's not fair on the fish. You know, I want, you know, just don't get fish tethered. The worst thing I hear is that people's had six runs, lost every single one where well, it's just poor angling that's it yeah you know and that's why they fish get. are getting left with tackle or mouths ripped there's just no need for it is there right no, should we have right. a look at that other one yeah okay i'll grab this out right keith so this is the digital bad boy plenty of room for bait in there isn't there plenty of room um we just put some in here because i just got to take loose feed out there now so i just fill it up a bit of pellet put some small pellet in there as well so ready to go we switch it on and if say we notice, no aerial, straight away. Handset, picks the handset up very good, it bleeps into it to a signal, so it's picked it up. And the nice thing about this, no one thinks the micro cats have to be prime, they don't have to prime it. Straight really? in. And away you go. We've got it on slow, now I'll put it on fast. It looks so stable, doesn't it? And again, it's so quiet. And again, you can dim the lights on it as well. But the nice thing is you can put this under trees, you know, you won't get tangled. It's unbelievably quiet, isn't it? It is so quiet, isn't it? And again, you've got two hoppers in here, you can drop them separately. So if I drop one, I drop one now, that's one gone. And you can, I'll do it on the move as well, so get a nice big spread. I think some people think they're yeah, yeah. designed for two rigs, aren't they? Yeah, but... they're not. And you should never, ever use two, you know, two uh, rigs in there, whatsoever. It's just going to cause yourself all kinds yeah. of trouble, wouldn't it? And I'm guessing you've got the lights on the front on that one as well? Yeah, you've got little lights on the front and there's other, I mean, there's other extras you can put on it as well. You know, you could put hopper covers on it. Um, there's a way of putting maggots in there now. You put a sleeve on the bottom so no maggots can escape. And and again, you can dim the lights down. Exactly the same sort of thing as the other boats. So this one's actually got a built-in echo sander? Yeah, isn't this it? one's got a built-in echo sander, so that's a really, really good system. Um, find you the great features and then if you use it with a GPS system you can put that boat back at the same spot every really? single time yeah. <laughs> and I've done wow. it I, I mean I was, I've used the GPS system before and what I've done I've gone to a lake gone there at night and I've actually pegged the whole lake <laughs> onto my into the GPS system and uh, so I can just turn a lake on off I can pre-bait them spots during the winter uh, that's a massive so, edge isn't it massive edge finding the fish in the winter you know you can find them held up in them little them little spots, you know they're going to be there every time. So, I mean, I can go to lakes in the winter and just know, just put that bait there and I can go there. Uh, there's a lake up in Norfolk, I've done it too. I knew the fish were there, I've been pre baiting with the new Grange and uh, had it straight away. So, you know, it does work. Good angling. You know, it's been around for years. You know, the company's, you know, been around for 18 years and they've got excellent after sale service. And with a digital boat, it's um, basically, it's, there's not much can go wrong with it, to be honest. You know, there's very small chips in it, and that's it. That's what it runs on. Seems like the way forward. There's going to be a way forward, and uh, I think you know there's more technology to come. Superb. You know, it's brilliant.